Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Isabella. Um, I'm really excited for today's video because I have really good skincare, body care, and I've been collecting this <laughs> uh, products for a while. Not too long, but um, it's just, uh, you know, I never have time uh, to do videos. So I'm really excited so I can finally use the products. Some of them I used, uh, some makeup products. And I can tell you what I think about them. So yeah, this is what I have here. I have from Sephora and Ulta. I got a few things from Target. I think that's it. And Nordstrom too. I'm just going to take uh, everything out of this bag, uh, Ulta bag, because it's quite noisy. But let's start from this one. This is uh, CeraVe. SA cream for rough and bumpy skin. Um, I mentioned this before in my one of the videos that I have uh, KP and I'm trying to uh, take care of it. So yeah, this is, uh, I heard that this is a really good one because it has salicylic acid in there. So yeah, hopefully that will help. Well, I have to be consistent, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm trying. But yeah, this is a really good one. And I think this is a jumbo size. This is like larger. I've never seen this in Target. So I saw this all time. They had really good deal. Uh, I think 20% off or something. So I got that. I thought my camera was not recording, but it was a fool's alarm. So yeah, I got these uh, face masks. These are the sheet masks. And they had, again, a deal. So I took, I think, eight of them. I used one. I got the hydrating one and the illuminating. But I don't know. I, I usually go for the hydrating ones. Uh, even though I use the other ones too, like a uh, poor... I don't remember something about pores and other stuff, but they're all kind of hydrating. So that's all I care about. I need hydration. My skin is really dry, really dehydrated. So yeah, I like this. I got Morphe brushes, eye brushes I got. Um, this one is Morphe M504. This is a fluffy brush. I don't know if you can see. I usually use large fluffy brushes for my eyeshadow because I don't do like several like or few eyeshadow look. I always just like apply one fast. That's all I need. And then I got this one. I have this one um, and I need it. Well, I want it. Uh, second one. Then this is the M213 and this looks like that. This is really good for applying eyeshadow or smudging eyeliner for under your eye. It's perfect. They're, I'm not gonna lie, they're a little bit scratchy. They're not the softest brushes I've ever used. So yeah, um, but they're inexpensive and uh, I actually am looking for a really good fluffy brush like this. Even if it's expensive, I need a really good one. Um, not scratchy. I want the softest brush. But usually the ones I find, they're quite pointy. And I don't want that. I want to be kind of rounded. You know what I mean? Not pointed at the top. But yeah, I'm excited to use this. Me and my husband were traveling, <laughs> kind of. But uh, we went to Ulta and um, I found this one. It's... Um, it's a scrunchie. Let me show you. I used one. It's two in here. And I got the black ones. Um, they're kind of velvety. And it has that scrunchie, that, um, I don't know, rubbery thingy in, in this uh, fabric. So, yeah. And I used one already. And I really, really like it. Really do. And from Target, I got some skincare. And I actually, this one I got from Amazon. This is again from CeraVe. And this is the body wash, again, for the rough and bumpy skin with uh, salicylic acid. 
So yeah, I've never used this. I don't know if this is a new product or something, but yeah, I'm trying to, these don't smell good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. These don't smell, well, I don't know this one, but I'm assuming it's gonna have the same smell than this has. Um, but I feel like they smell a little bit of kind of medicine and I'm thinking maybe that's why it's gonna help you know but yeah so um oh i ran out of my q10 this is timeless i'm so excited timeless now they sell at target i started using timeless because i watched um what's her name i think her name is angie and her channel name is hot and flashy she's i think over 50 and you know i'm aging too <laughs> she looks amazing actually you would never say she's over 50 um but um yeah so i'm 38 and i have a lot of wrinkles so and uh, i use this serum for i think over two years so yeah i ran out and i got the large bottle um i think this is better deal than the small one that you purchase it's really good uh really moisturizing well, this this is my must have uh product i use this day and night love it got this valeda uh valeda valeda uh face cream from target it's amazing i found this couple years ago this is the thickest cream that you can find in market. I think I worked at Macy's. I know a lot of brands and I've tried a lot of face creams and everything. This is the most hydrating and thick cream that I've ever, ever seen. But um, I've, I've used this um, uh, container from this, whatever, um, several times already, but I wanna show you. Uh, it's amazing if you have really dry skin, it dehydrated and you just need something heavy duty. It doesn't clog my pores or anything. I really like this. So yeah, a little bit goes a long way. You just like apply, it's quite thick. You just apply on your fingers and massage it a little bit, kind of melts, but not that much you know just get softer so you can apply on your face uh, you might be careful with this one because i was watching people talking about it uh, dermatologists and they said that it has contain uh, cont contains um, fragrances so if your skin is sensitive maybe stay away from it or you can just spot treatment like apply behind your ear and see how your skin responds to it but i love this it's really really good one yes a couple more things from target um my everyday uh eye makeup remover neutrogena i really love this one um i used before clinic take take a day off i think it's called makeup eye makeup remover again liquid uh, you have to shake it the same thing did the same thing for me than this does uh so i'm like why should i pay more money for that i can just get this one from target or any drugstore um yeah i really like it i don't use any waterproof mascara so i don't know if this will remove it or not uh you can just do research i i'm sure there are going to be tons of videos about it uh, reviews about it uh but yeah i really like it it doesn't hurt my eyes or anything yeah, I really like this. And then I got another CeraVe uh, product. This is not a sponsored video. <laughs> no, I just watched a lot of videos about my problem, about my skin. And um, this is what dermatologists uh, suggest and uh, for bumpy skin and everything. There was a um, British lady dermatologist. She was talking about 
uh, KP uh, skincare what products to use and everything and then she mentioned about this one I already have one it's almost uh, empty so I needed another one it's just a retinol and I think this is for face um Mm, it doesn't say face but um you know it's a small bottle you should use on your face but i think it's gonna be for face but i use this uh, on the areas that i have the problem so yeah it's quite i would say expensive because well it's 16 or 17 dollars it's not expensive but if you're gonna use on larger areas like on your thighs or on your arms uh for treatment that you need it's kind of expensive because i used one of the bottles i think three times and it's gone already and i don't put everywhere on my body like meaning on my arms everywhere i have the areas over here that i have the kp those bumps and on my thighs some areas but not everywhere but it's still it's a small bottle so from yeah. nostrum i got um giorgio armani luminous silk foundation i really like this foundation i actually love this foundation um but i'm gonna say this i heard before i purchased this foundation. well i have older one meaning older i got last summer because i was really tan the shade is too dark for me so i needed something light for my fair <laughs> winter um, skin um, shade so I got number four and it's nice yellow kind of, kind of olive yellow undertone uh, it's not too yellow but um, if you have really dry skin this is not going to be luminous for you I have it on right now on my face it, well, this uh, shine that you see, the sheen, it's from my blush. It's not the foundation. Foundation is here on my forehead. And I don't use a lot because I like light to barely minimum coverage. <laughs> but um, I heard a lot of people saying, oh, it's so luminous. It's shiny. It's not at all. If you have dry skin, even summertime, it's not luminous on me. It's natural finish i would say yeah it's not glowy at all for me and as i said i got a uh, shade four and i love the bottle it's really nice and i got uh the concealer luminous silk concealer i have again number four they're quite close well this one is a little bit tiny bit lighter than the foundation even though they're the same number but um i would say yeah a little bit lighter than the foundation and again i have darker one darker shade for my summer skin shade i really love it it's really nice um it gives light to medium coverage it's really um hydrating i would say and i got this eye pencil from nars it's called i saw this makeup artist i think he's from um oh god i don't know where he's from i don't even know his name he god <laughs> what a memory um he starts his videos with his pomeranian dog i think it's a pomeranian dog it's super cute he's a really nice guy he's a ma makeup artist i think he lives in dubai if i'm not mistaken god i cannot think of his name but he uses this pencil a lot and he said it's his favorite one and the name is mambo it's okay this is i used this yesterday um it's quite waxy um pencil first i didn't like that much but then i'm like okay i need this you apply this i don't know if it will show it's dark brown with red undertone smudging or you know blending it uh you can see the red more and i love that it's so beautiful especially if you have brown eyes 
this is beautiful i mean anybody can use it green eyes will be perfect but uh, brown eyes yes this is just beautiful 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 pencil i'm glad i purchased this um, pencil from sephora i got um i don't know if you saw my last video i was explaining and telling you why i was gone for a long time because my lips i had problem it gets burned and everything i get all this terrible terrible uh cold sore type of thingy on my lips and then it just takes forever to heal it's because i need to wear sunscreen on my lips i think that's the most sensitive skin on my uh, part of my face um so i've been using this uh, jack black um no it's yep jack black oh my goodness um jack black uh lip balm with spf 25 and i always get mint flavor scent scent so i got two uh my husband likes this too so one for me one for him um yeah i've been using this for three years four years must have for especially summertime when the sun is out hopefully here <laughs> the sun is slowly disappearing well it's gone completely um hopefully it's not too dark so yeah i got this foundation from um fenty beauty I heard and I saw a uh, couple, I would say, reviews about it. This is the Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I got in shade 145. And people, so some people say it's really good for dry skin. Some people even had, who have um, dry skin, they said this is too hydrating for them. And I was like, hmm, too hydrating? I need that. <laughs> Yeah, every time I hear somebody says, oh, it's like moves around because it's so hydrating. I'm like, I need that. But um, yeah, this is the foundation. I know you heard about it. This is, we you know Fenty is so popular, the uh, makeup, um, the brand. So yeah, I'm excited to try it. Hopefully the color matches and it might be a little bit dark. I don't know. I'll see um, and I'll get back to you and um, tell you if my dry skin will take this or not. <laughs> so yeah and then I heard about this one too. I guess it's a new product. Maybe it's new for me. I don't know. Um, but this is the Urban Decay Eyebrow. Um, what is it called? Waterproof Pencil Ink Stain. Oh it's waterproof okay didn't know that then i got in shade dark drapes dark brown so this is what it looks like it has one side it has the pencil oh this is the liner side that you can make kind of fake hair you can draw i know it's gonna take a practice to get used to it and this is the pencil Oh, there's something yeah it's just like an eyeliner you know when you're shaking it there's like a bowl in there but yeah i'm really excited to try this i haven't tried it yet and finally uh i got charlotte what's what's what is it charlotte tilbury beauty uh the powder airbrush flawless finish powder and i got in shade medium i got the little baby one this is um, i don't know travel size or whatever um yeah when you open the box when you look at it it was like okay that's quite not too bad and then you open this tiny and dropped it tiny little baby look how thin it is comes out of it tiny little baby <laughs> comes out of it okay so yeah it's really smooth really really smooth really smooth and i heard amazing things about this powder i got the ordinary lactic acid five percent 
over here. I heard that this is really good um, for your skin. It's kind of exfoliating serum. Uh, but this is really good for, especially they said, if you have dry skin. So maybe it will remove the dead skin, which I have dead skin all day long <laughs> on my face. Uh, and it kind of hydrates your skin too. So again, I saw this, uh, Angie was talking about it, hot and flashy. Uh, I think she uses this morning time. I have to look her routine again, uh, her skincare routine and see, I think she uses this morning time and she uses the 10%, but I was scared a little bit to get the 10%. So I decided to try the 5% and if it feels completely fine and I don't see anything major happening or irritates my skin or anything, um, I'll finish this one and get the 10% if I like it actually. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for staying with me. I appreciate your time and I hope any of these products can help you if you have any of these concerns that I have. Uh, so yeah, thanks again and take care. Have a great weekend. Bye.